Today I am body painting a bunny on a contortionist. This type of body painting is very difficult to achieve. You need someone capable of flexing their body in the craziest positions. And in order to paint this on someone, they can't be in that position the whole time. Real quick, using white water-based makeup, I'm sketching out the shape of the bunny. I only have about 20 seconds to do this part, so I have to work really fast. Once the sketch is done, I can start to render a little bit with her in a relaxed position. Because the contortionist is not in the proper pose, I need to trust that my sketch is in proper placement. I want to give the bunny more tones, so I'm adding a little gold to the color of the fur. So now I'm going to paint the eye, and this is the most important of the body painting. So I need this to be as photorealistic as possible. But again, I can't do this while she's in her pose, so I need to trust my sketch and then do the best that I can to render it out of the pose. So now I'm just adding a lot of details, trying to make it look as photorealistic as possible so I can fool you, the viewer, into thinking it's a bunny. Now using black makeup again, I'm going to start to add some more details to the face of the bunny. Real quickly, I get her in the pose again for another 20 seconds. This time I'm using black to sketch out a little bit more of the shape of the fur. Now I'm going to go back with white makeup and add a little bit more texture to the fur. Knowing beforehand that I'm going to use a black background enables me to paint parts of the model black with the intent of making those parts disappear in the final images. With the model now back in the pose, I'm looking for bare spots that need to be filled in with paint. I don't want to have any dead giveaways that this is a human being. Now with this special brush, I'm going to render more finely detailed hairs using a white water-based cake makeup. And I'm doing this with my previous sketches and previous black and white renderings. I'm just following the direction of all these patterns. In order to do this, I had to look at the model's portfolio and see what poses she was capable of. And I just sat there and looked and waited until an image sort of popped into my head of what I could fit into this body. And within time, I saw the bunny. And now we can watch this body painting come to life as the model gets into this wonderful contortionist pose. The best way to show body painting is through performance. And when you combine the art forms of body painting and contortion, it brings the result to a whole new level. There's a lot of pre-visualization going on when you're setting up a body painting like this. And sometimes you'll fail in the end and you just have to go for it and see if it works out. The next challenge is understanding that models can only hold this pose for a limited amount of time. So you need to work really quickly when you're applying the makeup. Today I'm going to be body painting faux clothing, a timeless leather jacket and jeans. For the first step, I'm going to be applying a grayish blue base coat to the legs. As I'm painting the legs, I'm leaving gaps of skin shown so that I can add tears into the jeans later on. For the next step, I'm going to be applying black to the shoulders, arms, and sides of the torso. This is going to be the base coat for the leather jacket. Using white makeup, I'm going to airbrush the base coat of the t-shirt under the leather jacket. Using a simple textured stencil that I found at an arts and crafts store, I'm adding a little bit of texture to the jeans. Using a shield, now I'm adding creases and folds to the jeans to give it a more lifelike appearance. And now with a shield, I'm adding drapery and wrinkles to the shirt. With some pre-cut stencils, I'm going to add studs and zippers to the jacket.
painted clothing is one of the most popular and fascinating styles of body painting. One of the most challenging things is the proper placement of pockets, wrinkles, and folds. So using reference really helps me get this correct. Now he can roam the streets naked and no one will even notice. Today I'm doing an illusion uh, where the model looks like she's dissolving uh, and turning into some flower petals as she disappears. What I'm doing right now is I'm doing the black base coat for the illusion to make what part of her body I want to disappear, disappear. So right now I'm working on the details, laying out the petals and deciding how they're going to fall and where they're going down her body. Right now I am adding more detail to the part of her skin that is breaking off to shadowing and making it look like it's actually part of her body. So to finish this up, I'm just adding a little bit around her face, adding more highlights and details around these leaves to give them a more realistic look. This look was inspired by a previous look that was more biomechanical where I was doing steampunk inspired pieces and I wanted to go more organic and do an illusion where it had more florals and something, you know, natural about it. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for the newest makeup transformations from Beauty Well.